This is our video on how to enter soccer stats. Everything in the video is current except for a new category, shots on goal. This stat represents the number of shots that would go into the goal if the goalie did not stop them. Shots include those on goal and those that miss the goal along with actual goals. Though this new stat is not included in the video, please enter shots on goal. A new feature we offer is the ability to track all scoring plays for both teams during the game. We encourage coaches to use this method so that STLHighSchoolSports.com can get this data as quickly as possible for online and newspaper use. Please review the soccer in-game entry video to see how you can use an iPad or phone to enter scoring plays during the game. However, for now, let's look at the stat entry video. To enter stats for a boys or girls soccer game, click on the Team Schedule button. The screen lists the entire schedule for your team, but our example only shows two games. Entering schedule information can be reviewed in the schedule video. Pick the game for which you want to enter stats. In this case, it is the Southwest Brentwood game. Click Edit to enter the game. This screen contains information about the opponent, date, time, and type of game which was previously entered when the schedule was prepared. This video will show you how to enter the results on game day. Scroll down to the score by periods. First for the away team, it had one goal in the first half and two goals in the second for a total of three. Next scroll down to complete score by periods for the home team which had no goals in the first half and two in the second half for a total of two. Verify the number of periods played. In most cases the number is two. When you are finished entering the score by half, scroll to the top of the page and click on schedule. You are now ready to enter individual stats. To enter individual statistics, pick the game for which you want to enter stats and click on the team. In this case it's Southwest versus Brentwood and we will start with entering the stats for Southwest. Click on Southwest and you will next see the roster and statistics page showing all zeros in the stat columns. Click on a player's name, for example Lisa Burns. She had two shots, one goal, and one assist. Did she have the game-winning goal? Yes, and we changed that on the screen. She also had two fouls, three blocks and one yellow card. When you have completed entering Lisa Burns' stats you click on a roster at the top of the page to enter the next player. Picking Danny Wilson in this example we will give her two shots, one goal, one assist, and two fouls. Again we click on roster when we complete any other players that have statistics. We will not complete all the individual stats for this team since the first two examples are repeated until the entire team has been entered. Again our example is for girls soccer but the boys are entered using these same techniques. Lastly when all the individual stats are completed we need to enter the team information. So under name you click on stats comma team. Input the number of team corner kicks in this case seven and total team fouls five. Now click on roster to see that all the totals match for your team at the bottom of each column. The next group of statistics is the goalie stats and we will get that by clicking on the name of the goalie. In our example Audrey Blanchard is the goalie so we click on her name. You will see the stat screen you were previously working on and now you will need to find the statistics button in the top right corner of the page. Clicking on that statistics button allows you to change to the goalie stats and you are now ready to enter her information. First enter the number of minutes played, 80. Next the number of goals against, 2. And the number of saves, 7. Did she get the win? In this case, yes. So we'll click on yes. Did she have a shutout or shared shutout? No, she did not. Be aware that the shutout is given when a goalie plays an entire game without allowing a goal. A shared shutout is when multiple goalies register a shutout. Now we'll click on roster to verify the totals again. 
Next, we will now return to the schedule and be prepared to enter stats for the other team. So click on the Southwest team in the top left corner, and on the pop-up box, you can now select Brentwood. We will not repeat the re instructions for entering the opposing team stats since the procedure is the same as it is for the first team. Since our coaches select multiple ways to enter stats, we want to emphasize the importance of the line score by halves and the goals and assists for both teams. Goalie information would also be helpful, especially when a player has a solo shutout. Thanks for watching our stat entry video. Please take time to also watch the in-game entry video and put your scoring plays in during the game.